some friends from around the world. I'm Frida Stopper. Welcome to my channel. Enjoy my Halls McBong cooking shows and family scenes. This is the halal lamb chops that I found at Aldi. I have them in a marinade here. The marinade has a half cup of avocado oil. It has a tablespoon of mild curry powder, a tablespoon of garam masala, it's a half tablespoon of sumac, um, a half onion in, in the some. Um, garlic cloves um, chopped in the food processor, um, salt, pepper, um, and some steak seasoning. So I'm just going to let it hang out here for about an hour and then I'm going to put it in the oven. This is much too beautiful to make soup with because the pieces are meaty. They have meat. And I expect the flavors of all the spices and the onion and the garlic to go into it and uh, saturate it. And then I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it in this pan and cover it with foil and roast it for hours, slowly. Okay, Fatima is making some red lentil soup. In Arabic it's called Adis. It's just starting now. She's going to make some rice. The rice is soaking a little bit. Some water. So she put some oil in there, so it gets warm. And she's gonna fry the something in it a little bit. Some uh, vermicelli noodles. You're gonna toast in there in the oil, and when they get all toasty, the uh, Rice goes in there too. The pasta is starting to get a nutty smell. It's turning a little bit brown. Now it's beautiful and brown and toasted. And it gets kind of a nutty flavor when it's toasted like this. And she's getting the rice ready to toss in. I'll be careful. Be careful, it's steamy. going to simmer together with the with the nutty uh, toasted vermicelli with some tiny pastas noodles meat mille and add a little salt and she's mixing it around so it can all cook together the toasted noodles make it really, really lovely flavor and texture in the rice. The little guy wants to see. See, he wants to look at it. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> so now it's going to be covered and, and cook for a while. There they all are. I 
place them in a single layer in the stainless steel pan and I'm going to cover them with foil and stick them in the oven wish me luck there it is in the pan ready to go in the oven I'll cover it up so it can roast under the broiler there it is going in chicken bouillon I get it from the Arabic store so that's going to be delicious okay now it's going to sit here and simmer for a while the rice is very beautiful and it smells delicious and that's what it looks like it's done now and the ades or red lentils are um, bubbling and they're they just need to be undercooked for this because it's going to be added to some other things to make it a nice beautiful soup and now she's adding the onion and the garlic to the oil so she's going to brown it a little bit and there's a dry lemon or a numi basra. <laughs> it's going in at some point. And she's going to uh, brown those onions. Now the rice is turned down to low so it can just sort of steam. Okay, the onion and garlic is cooked a little bit and the tomato paste is going in. Now when the tomato paste starts to smell the toasted, then it will be re ready to add the red lentils that are already cooked. The red lentils are still cooking over here. Now it's getting its little uh, brown. It's going to be a little bit darker than before. And it's going to get kind of a syrupy smell. And I don't know wh what other way to describe it. I've done this many times, but uh, just when the color darkens, then it'll be ready. You put a little bit more oil in it, because it wasn't quite enough. You can always add, but you can never take away, so it's good just uh, to do a little at a time. She said she already salted it. And Mashing it a You burn yourself. You burn yourself. <laughs> it's popping out. Now it's getting dark. See how that uh, tomato paste is getting darker? Okay, I had to slide it over because it was getting away from her. <laughs> Was boiling too much. She's not used to my stove yet. So now she's gonna dip it in there. Yeah, into the onion and tomato paste. Uh, when? Huh? Now? No. No. Halas, Timon? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the rice is finished, and I'm gonna turn the burner off.
really done and beautiful. Ready to eat. And then I'm going to go pick up my kids as soon as uh, this, is, this part is done. And the lamb is going to stay in the oven until I come back. Okay, she's putting a little salt in it. There. Some pepper. Yes, you do hear the washer. <laughs> the washer always is always going here. A little chicken bouillon. Bad my. Does it need some more water or is it good? We have to add a little bit more water because it's not quite enough. Simmer a while. Yep, simmer for a while. Okay. Got to get a little stir, and the lid. Hi, Chibira. She's gonna. She's just gonna use the big one as needed. Uh, it's a little bit big, but it'll work. She made a hole in the in the lemon with a chopstick. She poked it all the way through, so it can uh, the liquid from the soup can go through it and sort of. Um, Steep it into the it, the flavor of the lemon into the soup, and that's uh, going to be covered now and cook low for a while. Oh, <laughs> signs of life here. Let's see. Ooh, it's all done. Mmm, smells amazing. Mm -hmm. And the rice is ready. Now I'm going to check on the on the meat. Lamb chops. They're ready. Yes. Okay. The lamb has been roasting a long time. And I'm flipping them over so the other side can be in the liquid gravy type thing. Ooh. Cooking. I think they need to be one more hour in the oven. Yes. Okay. Mm. The flavor is magnificent. Mm. Necessary. We have rice. There, all flipped. Mm. <coughs> this is 
the lamb right here and the salad the salad has broccoli carrots um, lettuce mint green peppers and green onions put a little bit of rice here on the side and there it is with the lamb Mm. It has to have meat with the lamb. It's very good. Yum. Mm. It's beautiful. The mint is really good. It's from my backyard. <clears throat> mm. Did you eat anything? I, can, I think you can turn the oven off. <clears throat> mm. Nice. Yum. I love that mint in there. Yum. This is beautiful and healthy. Mm. Whole food. When I eat salad like this, I don't want any dressing. Yum. Why is he here? You should tell your boys to get up there. How are they going to take a shower? There was a... There was nothing. There was. Nothing, nothing. A while ago. Um, yum. It's very good. Mmm. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm going to <coughs> get off here and finish up my food. Bye.